Welcome to the shed. This is Iced Out Images back with another product review. Um, I just did a, a live batter um, uh, from Zuzu Farms. Uh, that video it will already be up by the time this one, so go check that one out. This one is on mitten extracts. Um, I mentioned in the video about something like I wasn't too happy about with this car after watching a video. So the first one I'm going to review is Mitten Cookie. So come in there, little packaging. Got some information on the bag. So it's a hybrid, ultra refined cannabis oil, Michigan grown and extracted, pesticide free, 100% organic, contains THC, one milliliter, 0 0.033 flow ounces. So then it's got mint extracts, mint and cookie, one gram, test tag, final tag, 3843 Euclid LLC, 1694 Marquette, Bay City, Michigan, 48706. THC is 68%, zero CBD, and it says it's safely passed. So everything would legitly look kosher. I don't have another cart with me to, to show this, but I, um, if Jim Becker watches this one, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about the moment I show this cart. I'm not going to rule out that, you know, possibility that this has an exactly one milliliter in it, but that inner tube is huge compared to the other ones that I get. Like, that shit looks massive. That looks like it could be a 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and then the liquid just goes, you know, up because all the, uh, the space that's left in there. If there was a way for me to test that exactly, I guess I would. I just don't know if I'd be able to get it all out with a syringe to weigh it personally. So C8039, it's got the Kush, uh, the Kush K logo, C-cell. It's got a little pot leaf thing right there. Looks like Michigan with a pot leaf and then it's got like the uh, Caesar flower things. So I'm gonna put the little magnet adapter on and then load it in my AO Vape uh, C-roll battery. Um, if you haven't watched those reviews, go watch those. Elevate battery, five clicks to turn it on, a viewer so you, that you can see your oil, and uh, magnet. Lights blinked the moment it connected. So we're gonna try this out and see what they taste like. Um, but as I said, so far the only thing I noticed that I didn't like is that the, the inner chamber was such a fat uh pipe versus like say you get a platinum vape or something it doesn't look that bad That is not a great flavor. I can't say that I would buy this one again. Um, you know, we'll see what the other ones taste like. <coughs> you know, I've got three more, three different flavors. So, so far you're 0 for 1. Um, I don't, I don't like it. I did not like that taste at all. Um, I can't really tell you what the high is going to be like because I was completely blitzed before I did this review. So I'll comment below in the description um, after I hit it again by itself. But first appearance, no. Taste, uh, not for me. Uh, there might be people out there right now that watch this that are like, oh man, I had that one. I really liked it. Well, that's awesome. You know, go for it. Um, but I don't like it. So 
three more chances and if i don't like a single one of these which i'm trying to give it a fair open you know taste test and everything um i haven't really heard much about this company at all this is my first time ever trying uh a mint extracts cart but as of right now mint cookie hybrid no not for me maybe for you guys not for me i won't buy it again um three more shots to see if i'll ever use your company again nothing against you guys personally just i like some good tasting shit sub like comment guys and uh any feedback from you guys on flavors that you have tested or tasted or whatever the fuck um comment below let me know what you guys think of it you know you know, uh, I've got Pebble Cereal, Mango Bomb, and Gushers. So we'll see what those are all about. Keep an open mind until then. But uh, peace the fuck out, guys. Have a fantastic uh, Monday. Three to five inches, so it might not be so fantastic. But uh, you guys have a safe and uh, awesome Monday. And I will see you in the next one. Sub, like, comment. Peace.